I'm just enjoying some music. I feel like I want to sing when I hear this. We're going to introduce you to Suzanne Howe. She's so talented. This is a 300-year-old violin. We've got her performance after the break. Welcome back. You got a bit of a tease from Suzanne here. And now I want to chat with you about this violin. It is so special. Uh, we keep saying that, you know, those figures, 300 years old, 6 million bucks. How did you get your hands on this? Well, I think uh, I, I certainly didn't find it on the street. It, <laughs> it comes from a Stradivari Society in Chicago, and they loaned fine instruments. And I, I got this violin when I played a live audition for the owners, Karen and Clement Erickson. They're from upstate New York. Mm -hmm. uh, so I went up to Chautauqua, did a live audition, and uh, came home with the violin. Now, when you cross the border, you go through the airports. Uh, do you check this? I assume oh, no. No, <laughs> no, definitely not. Not checkable luggage. Um, always comes into the cabin mm -hmm. and is uh, sitting always in the overhead. Probably always just a few inches away from you at all times. I think there's like a 10 foot radius that it has to sort of be uh, always yeah. uh, within that distance. Now, you've been playing the violin since you've been yay high. Um, and that's before quite accurate. Yay? Actually. This, yeah, this high, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what is it about the violin and what is it about playing this? How incredible is it? Well, I like to think that violins are very much like people, mm -hmm. and uh, you really do become compatible with one or not. And the very first day I, I met her, I just I felt this incredible energy. And um, perhaps it was the 300-year history. Mm -hmm. It could have been also that one of my favorite violinists of all time played her 100 years ago. Wow. Uh, but, you know, maybe maybe it's, it's just a chemical thing. You, you know, know maybe it's just... Uh, I'm just going to let you do it because you do it so beautifully. So here's Suzanne, and you've decided what you're playing? Yeah, I, I wanted to make a little tribute to, um, she's also named after Lady Mary Portman uh, of England. And, um, and because this really has been very much a love affair with myself and the, and the violin, I thought I'd play Love's Greeting by Sir Edward Elgar. There you go. Suzanne Howe, take it away. And that is Mississauga's Suzanne Howe. We're going to take a break here on The Five. We'll be right back.